I'm here with Gail Kelly, Chief Executive of Westpac, Australia's second biggest bank. The bank has had a great run recently, recording a return on equity of over 15% and looks well placed given its geographic location close to the heartland of Asian growth. Ms Kelly, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks very much, Patrick. I mentioned there the Asia background. Of course, you're not as present in Asia as some other Australian banks, um, but you're, you've been helped also by your domestic market. Give, it, give us a view of that macro uh, background, if you would, and how it's helped your performance. Well, certainly uh, uh, people talk about Australia as being the lucky country, and uh, in lots of ways uh, we are the lucky country through that geographic connections to, to Asia, uh, to the emerging markets of China and India. But on the other hand, I think we've made a little bit of that luck ourselves. Uh, there's no doubt that going into the global financial crisis in 2007, Australia was in great shape uh, with a very strong uh, budget surplus, uh, uh, monetary policy tools that could actually be used, uh, unemployment particularly low, um, and quite a diversified economic base. So we went in well. Banks were well placed too. I think they learned from the travails of 1991, 1992, and so good credit quality. When you and had your own domestic crisis. When we had our own domestic crisis, yeah. and uh, and you know it's wonderful to make sure that you do take the learnings out of those. How do you see the outlook for Asia now? Obviously, growth is slowing in many parts of the region. In Australia, it's been slowing too, and that's uh, not a surprise. We're going through structural adjustment in Australia over the last few years, as you know, very strong mining boom, very high commodity prices. That's eased. Uh, uh, and, and at the same time, a very high Australian dollar. And the dollar hasn't eased, so the dollar's remained stubbornly high. It is, in lots of ways, a proxy for exposure into those emerging markets in Asia. That puts pressure on manufacturing. And then the deleveraging consumer, which is a phenomenon around the world, but certainly a phenomenon in Australia, means that customers are cautious and prefer to save, prefer to repay debt rather than actually get out and spend, which means businesses sit on their hands a little, waiting for a pickup in confidence. Then talk about Asia more broadly. Mm. Well, we think that uh, you know, China's definitely slowed. There's no doubt about that. But the long run, even the medium run, is, is, is good for China. Uh, the, the domestic consumption is picking up in China. Uh, again, we've seen a smooth transition uh, of, of power in that Chinese economy. Um, it's quite a managed economy, as we know, able to pull the levers that are required in order to manage the growth rates that that economy is looking for. So, uh, you know, in, in the medium run, I think I think it will remain a strong economy, maybe growth in the seven and a half to nine level mm -hmm. rather than double digit. You talked there about the relatively high levels of indebtedness in among the Australian consumer base. How much of a concern is that? If we were going to have a difficult time in the housing sector, it would have been in 2008. At that time, interest rates were going up. The world was staring into who knows what kind of cataclysmic events on the back of the Lehman crisis and capital markets being effectively closed. Uh, but since then, householders have been repaying debt uh, uh, quite materially. I mean, more than, oh, it would be about 60% of our customers are ahead of schedule on their mortgages. There's some people are now talking about uh, an expectation of a capital return to shareholders, relatively rare in the world, uh, possibly next year. The other suggestions that have been made, could you make acquisitions to broaden your base into Asia where you have a relatively low presence, particularly Standard Chartered pot potentially as an acquisition uh, that some people have talked about. What are you going to do with all this capital? Can't make a, a call on that right yet. With regard to Asia though, our strategy is, is one of organic growth. Um, and sort of stepping up that, that focus to make sure that we can follow our customers, the capital flows for our customers, and support them in their transactional banking and trade finance and foreign exchange needs and so on. So that's our primary focus. Well, it's a nice problem to have, thinking how to spend your money. It is indeed. <laughs> Gail Kelly of Westpac, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick.